Yes, Cecilia is wondering how our defenders score so many goals. It's all about desire, the, the, the bravery. I mean, the error is called the yesterday. Technique, the technique, yeah. absolutely brilliant. There are, you know, central defen defenders in world football, you know, if they get on the end of a cross, the outcome is the same, yeah. you know, except the goalkeeper, you know, pulls out a, a uh, wonderful save or okay. it hits the post. Gary Cahill, one of them, learned from John, John Terry, John the master Terry. himself. Yeah. He, he wasn't like that um, when he was playing at Aston Villa and Bolton. Bolton. Um, right. But, yeah. he, you know, seeing John Terry do it, um, John Terry in one season was said to be as potent at the other end of the pitch as did a Drogba from mm. set-piece situations because yes. he would, you he know, be there. Get, yeah, he'll be there getting on, on the end of that cross and, and knock it in. Mm. Well, okay. Another player is Sergio Ramos, although he collects cards. Yeah. So that <laughs> really collects cards for him. So that's, that's for Chelsea now. Chelsea seven points clear again, and um, uh, which brings us to tonight. Uh, Tottenham will have to react. Uh, Tottenham will play against. Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace is the most informed team at the moment in English uh, Premier League. Big Sam has done a great job. Uh, three uh, massive wins um, in a row. Chelsea, yeah. um, Liverpool and Arsenal. And Arsenal. Yeah. What's going to happen in this game? Ah, Tottenham have got to dig in. They, they've got to produce maybe their best performance all season to get past this very dogged, very determined and uh, most importantly very inspired Crystal Palace team. If you've beaten Chelsea, Liverpool and Arsenal, um, Arsenal quite convincingly, yeah. um, Chelsea away at Stamford Bridge, Liverpool away at Anfield. Wow. Then, <laughs> I mean, they are, they are red, they're in red hot form yeah. and Tottenham would have to be at their best to, to, to get anything from that game tonight. Something tells me they're ending the draw. Mm. A draw. A draw. Let's uh, use the opportunity to listen to uh, Mauricio uh, Pochettino as the Tottenham Hotspur coach and he says they have six finals to go. Basically, they have to win all the games uh, to have a chance of winning the English Premier League. Uh, but they are playing well and they have very good players. And <clears throat> you, only, you can see the last uh, few weeks how they play and, and they... And uh, if you are capable to beat uh, Chelsea, uh, Liverpool and Arsenal, it's because uh, you are full of confidence, uh, a lot of quality. And that is why uh, we are aware and we must to, to give our best to try to, to get the three points because we are fighting for the, uh, for the Premier League, for to be on the end. On, if we don't, uh, it's not possible to catch up uh, Chelsea. To be on the top four, I think it's, um, the next six games are all finals. It's most important to be focused on the present. Don't think too much on the future. In the future, we will take the best, the best decision for the, for the club because uh, after nearly three years, you can see that uh, how the team was in, improving every season and all, always uh, our decision at the moment and so far are good. Uh, but it's important now. This game looks not so much game, but it's a lot of a lot of game. Three, four week that we must to give our best. It's so difficult. Next uh, next Sunday um, will be three months uh, that he got injured, and we'll see. Today we start to do some things with the with the group. We'll see how he reacts in the next few days and. And then we'll see. And it's not the same to be on training and, and after compete after three months. Always careful with him. But we are we are happy. We are happy. He's in a in a good way. And we hope as soon as possible can be again uh, available or to be select for for the to be on the squad and again. Yeah, Mauricio Pochettino uh, speaking out of tonight's uh, match. Very crucial match against uh, Crystal Palace. Uh, in the English uh, Premier League. Um, not just Crystal Palace and Tottenham will be in action. We also have two other games um, tonight. Uh, we have the Arsenal will take on Leicester City as well as the Middlesbrough uh, taking on Sunderland. But uh, Arsenal, Leicester, Leicester <laughs> totally different from the team we saw at the start of the season. Uh, they're playing really well now. Arsenal still have a chance of qualifying for the Champions League mm. by finishing in the top four. Yeah, they've got to win um, the, at least five of the, uh, the winning games to mm. st stand a chance and hope that between City and um, United uh, tomorrow they points. cancel themselves out and give Arsenal a chance. But Arsenal have got to win this game against Leicester City. Leicester City are back to the sort of form that saw them win the league last season. Correct. But even that last season, Arsenal were the only team to do the double over them, beat them home and away. So if Arsenal get their A game going, play the sort of formation I saw them play um, against City, which yeah. was a difference. Yeah. You know, <laughs> what do you make of that? Um, I thought Arsene Wenger 
for once needed yes. to you know adapt she, yeah. you know he it, just needed to adapt mm -hmm. um to to cope with the, the opposition it's it's i think foolhardy to go into every game playing the same formation playing the same tactics mm -hmm. uh, regardless what the opposition you know puts in front of you um so he's he's been proven you know uh, to be not as stubborn not as dogmatic <laughs> it's changing uh, right yeah, I mean, the pressure is forcing him to change, <laughs> to change right. if the change is bringing results then you've got why to, not you know keep changing with that yeah. yeah so um i expect arsenal to 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 line up differently against um to set up rather different same way against against leicester city because okay. if you play your classic 4-4-2 we know this team will sit back defend and hit on the break jamie vadi is back to his best of mm. form mares is playing well you know the little kid um uh, what's his name now uh, uh, the gray um, mm. he's, also, you know, he's also playing well so yes. um, they, they pack the a punch they, they, they look very potent uh, they look threatening you know on the break and arsenal don't look very comfortable oh, when they're defending against counter att mm. attack so i expect you know rob holding um uh, maybe uh, uh, mustafi back and koscielny as the, you know yeah three central defenders wow. and then oxford chamberlain retaining uh, his place He's as a right wing back, back okay. and monreal the other side uh, with that formation arsenal looked a lot more compact a lot yeah. more difficult to break down solid and um, going forward with sanchez you always do have a chance to score goals and um but i uh, just you know quick one on the on that particular formation um two wins in a row now since it changed uh, against yeah. middlesbrough and against uh, man city is yeah. it what's about that formation is it, uh, is, it is it say is it a safe formation safety is first it, formation mm, yeah. um, i mean people have seen chelsea do use it, it so well this season and they're asking themselves why, why, not, why not us <laughs> why not us you know so you have the, the assurance the yeah. safety net of mm. three central defenders who are going nowhere and what that means is that they can deal with situations you know when they arise when the wing backs lose the ball or when Correct. midfielders lose the ball you've got bodies you know to defend and that's what arsenal has always been lacking had they played this way against bayern munich Trust me, if they, even if they had lost, it wouldn't have been 10 2. A timely reminder 10 2, that's how that one ended. Okay, we'll go for a break and we'll come back. We'll just look at the fixtures from the Nigerian Women's League and also the papers. <laughs>